So here we go. This is going to be the first of many episodes of FAQs or Frequently Asked Questions uh, that I'm going to be doing here on this channel um, to help rookie league players all over Nashville and hopefully all over the world get a little bit better and shrink the learning curve a little bit. Um, I had on the Nashville Rookie League Ice Hockey page, I had asked hey, what is information that you wish you had known? If you are an uh, experienced player, what is information that you wish you had known uh, when you first started? And if you're a new player, what is information that you wish you had learned or you would like to learn right now uh, to better your game? Um, so I got a bunch of questions. Um, I already had a, a list of probably 40 questions. Um, but now I'm closer into the 50 range, uh, which is absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to have so much content and hopefully these are going to be nice little bite-sized videos uh, to help you kind of shrink the world. There's obviously um, other, other sources where you can get information um, about this. None of this stuff I think is groundbreaking. A lot of it, I'm literally just looking up. Uh, information from a lot of these other websites. I'm not like the guru of hockey or something like that. Um, but I do like looking up information. I do like learning about the game. Um, but if I am the, the medium for you to learn about the game, I, I value that and I appreciate that. So uh, one of the questions that I have is, I actually put my sticky note in a bad place there. Two seconds. Okay, so... One of the questions that I actually had was from Chris, and I thought this was a really great question from him. He said, how should I try to slow the game down? Every time the puck comes my way, I start to panic because I have so many things going through my head on what I should do. I do not get that way in pickup games, but when it's our season games, I get a little bit freaked out. And that's normal. Like, that's normal. First off, that's normal. Don't panic. It's part of the learning curve that is hockey. Um, so you're not alone in that. Everybody feels like they're alone in like panic pocket, like panic clearing. And it's, it's not unusual. It's a very common thing. Uh, but there are two things that you can do, um, to alleviate that and keep that, uh, from being your go-to move. Uh, first off is, um, um, is pre-scan. Uh, I always forgot my, I always forgot my stuff there is pre-scan. So if you're not on the puck, Wayne Gretzky does a great job of this and he talks about this a lot. He actually has a masterclass. If any of you guys watch masterclass, he actually has a masterclass where he talks about this a lot. Um, and it's knowing um, where to be on the ice. He's not going where the puck is. He's going where the puck is going to be. Um, so know your options um, on the ice. Um, and I think that is a, a big thing. So if the puck comes to you right now, what can you do with it? I'll get back to that in just a second, but also pre-scan and take mental pictures of the ice. So also what you're doing is you're taking mental pictures of where people are. So if the puck comes to you now, you already have a, an idea of the pressure that you might face, where your teammates already are at, and, and then off we go. So if you can work on that, um, I think that goes a long way. But very simply... Or I think it's much simpler. I used to play soccer a lot. And the best way for me to be able to enact those skills, um, and you'll see this in the Stanley Cup final. I think this is a great video to, to produce right now because you'll have, um, right now you'll have game three and possibly four. I don't know how much longer the series is going to go between uh, Vegas and Florida. Um, I personally think Las Vegas... Um, is just in a league of their own, honestly. In the two games that I've seen, I don't think that Florida has a match for it. That's another video for another time. But right now, if you're if you're uh, curious of what pre-scanning and knowing your options on the ice, again, in soccer, what I used to uh, teach and coach and be taught was the concept of triangles. And I think a team like Las Vegas does it extremely well. So watch them when they're on the power play, especially, but they do it well even in five on five, and that's what's killing teams. So they're moving around. They really play a positionless type of hockey, which is a little bit more advanced for what I'm talking about right now, but they play a positionless type of hockey in the sense of like they're working in triangles. So no matter what position you are on the ice, no matter where you are in the ice, you should be forming a triangle. If you're not forming a triangle with your teammates, you're in the wrong spot. 
So that's all you need to do. And that in itself, if you're working and you're skating to make yourself a third part of that triangle or an angle on that triangle, you're doing the right things. And that will allow you to think a little bit better when you're pre-scanning. So if that puck comes to you and knowing your options, you already know I've got two options that I can go to off the top of my head without even looking up, without even anything. You just know there's two parts of the triangle and they're going to be in this general direction based on where I am in the triangle. If you're working for your teammates um, and getting open and forming that triangle, the, the work is done for you. You no longer have to do that work and knowing where your teammates are on the ice because you've already done it before you got the puck. Um, and I think that is extremely important. Um, so go out and try that. Go and watch teams like Las Vegas in their power play um, and watch how effortlessly they are moving and forming triangles. I don't actually even know if that's like a formal way to teach hockey, but that's the way that my brain sees it. And I see it over and over. And I've seen success in my game when I just stop thinking about, oh, where do I stand? Just form triangles. Just make yourself into a triangle with your teammates. Um, And that goes a long, long way. So great. Again, pre-scan, take mental pictures of the ice, know where your options are, and then also know where your options are pre-hand by just forming triangles and doing the work without the puck. Um, And I think those things will slow the game down for you drastically. You'll do a lot less things like panic clearing uh, because you know your options. And also if you're nervous, and I, I get it, right? Like we're just trying to play. We're not trying to let our teammates down. The pressure is different in a pickup game than it is in a season game. You don't want to uh, let your teammates down or hurt your team. But just know most of the time panic clearing actually hurts your team worse because most of the time your team is actually not typically in a bad position, especially if you're playing to the fundamental um, concept of the triangles. So if you do that work, you slow the game down, you understand panic clearing is not something that you need to do, then you'll be off and running. Um, But it does take time. Give yourself time. Be patient. uh, Watch other people. Continue to ask questions. I think it's very important. Uh, But those are the three things that I do to try and slow the game down for myself personally. Uh, Know my options on and off the ice. um, Pre-scan and play in triangles. Um, This is great. Thank you guys so much for that question. Thank you, Chris, so much for that question. I hope to see more from that, more of that from you and other plays going forward. I'll be working on other videos all the way through the season and on going forward. So keep your questions coming on the Facebook page, Nashville Rookie League Ice Hockey. I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.